I really don't feel like doing no videos this morning. I just woke up, but, uh, and pardon me for the profanity, but I want to read some high level bullshit that CNN and other websites are writing as it relates to the immigration crisis. Now, let me tell you what's going on and what's happening as it relates to this immigration crisis. Both the Democrat Party and the Republican Party are co are co doing this together. They're totally together in doing this. And what they're doing is that they're busing immigrants through the country. And they're really just doing this to really replace the black population is really what they're doing it for. And allegedly Donald Trump built a wall. This, this, this got to be the most low IQ generation of white people that done ever existed. I mean, you can stand up and tell these people, Hey, I built a wall. Hey, define to me what a wall is. A wall is a physical object designed to stand as a barrier between two things. Okay. If you built a physical barrier, how, how do you have an immigration crisis? Aren't there supposed to be a bunch of immigrants just running into a wall? How the living hell do you believe that a wall got built and that there's still an immigration crisis? You got to be the dumbest piece of shit I'd have never seen in my life. You're the dumbass white Caucasian. And I'm going to just call your dumb white ass that. You're a dumb generation of stupid, retarded, exploitable white Caucasians. Now, let me read this BS and I'm going I'm to interpret this BS and tell you how CNN is just giving you complete BS. Hold on. Let me bring up the web page. Give me just a second. Okay. Texas. I'm going to start reading the article. If my phone would cooperate. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm going to bring this up on my other browser. Because for as much as Duck, Duck Go likes to brag that they so good, you forcing me to use the fucking Chrome browser because yo, that goddamn browser doesn't bring up pages. Hold on a second. Here we go. Uh, thank you, fucking invasive Chrome browser. Now, now you have all my business because DuckDuckGo doesn't want to bring up web pages. Okay. So DuckDuckGo gets a negative 10 today. Anyway, Texas has bus as nearly 9,000 migrants to NYC and DC as an affront to Biden's immigration policies. Now, let me tell you what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it sound like that the Democrats are that Abbott is irritating the Democrats, that he's annoying the Democrats and that he's doing this stuff to the Democrats to irritate the Dem He's not doing this to irritate the Democrats. This is a co-joint uh, cooperation by the Democrat Party and the Republican Party to bus illegal immigrants through this goddamn country. This is not anything that they're doing in opposition or in conflict with one another. But let's continue to read this BS. In a statement Friday, Abbott office said Texas has bused nearly 7,400 immigrants to D.C. since April and more than 1,500 migrants to New York City since August the 5th. Now, I'm going to tell it to you like this. If they're admitting those numbers, it could be anywhere from five to ten times higher. That number is really 40 to anywhere from 80, 40 to 80,000. And remember, that's just within the last few months. That's just what they're admitting within the last few months. You're not even talking about what they've been doing just over the years because ICE, there's no need in you all talking about call ICE. ICE is totally corrupt. I laugh whenever I hear people talk about call ICE. 
you're a joke. ICE is, pe- is totally corrupt, completely, inside and out. ICE ain't going to do anything, bro. Anyway, the busing mission is providing much needed relief to our overwhelmed border communities. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me read that again, and I'll link this for you. I'll link you so you can read this BS yourself. Let me, and and see, they tried to smooth it over for the reader as if you, as if you didn't catch that. Hold on. The busing mission is providing much needed relief to the overwhelmed border communities. What the living fuck is a border community? Ain't no such thing as a border community. That's an illegally existing place, especially if it was full of Haitians. As as we saw, all right, the statement said Operation Lone Star, which is what they're calling it, of all things, continues to fill the dangerous gap left by the Biden administration's refusal to secure the border. What does Biden have to secure a border for when there was allegedly a wall built? But look at how they're trying to write this off as some type of conflict, as if as if. Joe Biden, nor anybody, AOC, Joe Biden, the whole Latin community. Do you hear any Latin politician condemning Joe, uh, Governor Abbott for what he's doing right now? Where's the outrage? Where are the immigrants running through the streets? I believe that this is outrageous. He's busting all these illegals in here. Show me the Democrat that is sitting up there writing statements of outrage and sitting up there on Twitter losing his mind talking about the uh, immigration crisis. As a matter of fact, Republicans are not even saying nothing about it. Not really. You can go and dig up your Republican politicians right now on Twitter. Not a word, not a peep, total silence. They're just playing a right wing conservative population that is really a beta low IQ right wing population. That's what current day Republican gun owners are. Beta low IQ generation of white folk. That's all that it is. Exploitable. And Donald Trump, get your dumb asses out of here. Donald Trump is a sellout and an actor. He's not under any type of investigation, probably. He's probably just a crisis actor that's going along with an entire program. Donald Trump is a rich white dude from New York. You don't care nothing about no Southern white people. They snatched that dude up and and for the last six years have made him just a polarizing actor. That's all that he is. He's a fucking actor. He got fake invaded by the FBI. He's completely on board with, with, with the whole selling out of the entire system. But anyway, let me read a little bit more of this complete BS written by CNN trying to make it look like there's some type of conflict between two parties. Get the fuck out of here. Anyways, a fierce critic of the Biden administration's immigration policy, Abbott, began sending hundreds of willing (laughs) migrants on buses to D.C. earlier this year as an effort to the administration. Abbott's office has said that to board a bus or flight, a migrant must volunteer to be transported and show documentation from DHS. New York City has received record numbers of migrants this week, and more buses are expected, a spokesperson for the mayor's office of immigration told CNN on Saturday. Now, the states you got to pass through to get a bunch of illegal immigrants from Texas to New York are as listed. Oklahoma, Arkansas, Tennessee, what, Missouri, Indiana, you got to eventually get into Ohio, you got to get into Pennsylvania, or maybe uh, Virginia, Carolina, you got to pass through all these Republican states, you got entire buses of tens of thousands of illegal immigrants passing through Republican states, and I ask you again, where is the outrage? The biggest job the Republican Party is going to have next year or, or this year, 
when you dummies go to vote them in is fake pretending to be some type of outrage right wing party that's catering to a voter base. They ain't catering to your voter base. That's why they fake generated a fake ass politician, you know, to 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 be a superficial version of your anger. That's it. That's all. And and I'm not even going to read any more of this BS. You can go and read it your goddamn self. This is this is complete BS. And this nation is sold out. And all that shit that you're doing on Twitter, back and forth with people, that don't mean nothing. That's the new Republican Party. That's what they didn't left you to. They didn't left you to goddamn ramble and holler and scream about a bunch of BS with people on Twitter all day. That's all. You know, you just rambling on on Twitter. Twitter ain't stopping no immigrants from uh, coming into the country. Twitter ain't stopping tens of billions of dollars from being sent to Ukraine. Twitter ain't fixing your raggedy ass infrastructure or doing any goddamn thing. If you believe that there's a transvestite at your school teaching your kids what whatever the hell, you ain't going to get them off out of your school on Twitter. Forget about it. And if you do get them out on Twitter, it'll be a fake generated uh, victory that they created. That's it. That's all. They, they'll they fake create right wing victories and give them to you on the Internet and on Twitter. And that's it. And that's all. Other than that, your country is sold out and you're a dumbass Republican who it doesn't even matter if that dude, if that fake ass Donald Trump gets elected back into the goddamn office. He's a sellout. And this same old policy will continue because at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is that the motherfuckers are here and that they're being bust here. It doesn't matter. They'll sit up there and make you right wing modern day low IQ white Caucasians sit up there and believe that, hey, well, let's have a conflict over the fact that. Uh, a Republican is busing them uh, in two different countries. So because he's a right wing Republican and doing it, it's OK and it's fine. And I'm going to make myself unsee it and not see it. And I ain't going to bitch about it until the Democrats are in office. You know, that's what modern day dumbass Republicans do. It can be just as fucked up as can be. As long as a set group of representatives are are over the top of it, you're you're a OK and you ain't going to bitch about it until that set group of fake ass representatives get voted out. Then all of a sudden you'll, you'll, you'll start getting mad about the gas. All of a sudden the gas is evil high gas now. All of a sudden the employment is evil high unemployment now. You, you, you didn't notice the unemployment as long as your man was in there. Fuck up and be quiet. Your country is sold out and this supposed to be right wing, hardcore DeSantis and Abbott and the rest of these motherfuckers. Man, these motherfuckers are just as sold out as your average everyday, whatever the hell. Your country is gone, done, finished. It's a wrap. And that stupid ass gun you got sitting in your house. You ain't going to do shit with it, but plunk at a bunch of targets and a bunch of bottles in in your backyard or either get mad because you can't get no pussy and go and shoot up a bunch of young people. That's about all you're going to do with it. Anyways, fuck the right wing and fuck this modern generation of low IQ, dumb white Caucasians. And if Google is reviewing the video and mad at what I'm saying, Fuck you too. Y'all some dumbasses. I'm out. Flag it. Go ahead and fucking remove it. You dumb pieces of shit. I don't give a fuck.